Hey guys, Lunar Spire 1127 here, bringing you Bleach Chapter 485 Foundation Stones. Uh, the leader, which I'm gonna call him Buckbeard by now until I know his real name, he tells Kokuto 2.0 that not to oh, exert himself, he can that he can speak lying down, but if he's not gonna sit down, he might as well just cut off his legs. Okay, Buckbeard here is ruthless. He is a ruthless villain, and I like it. <laughs> but I just hope he doesn't treat his... I hope this isn't how he treats his subordinates. I mean, you cut off a guy's arm just to get him to stop fighting. Or not fighting, more like an argument. Or maybe trying to prevent a fight about to happen. And yet, he, he says that he doesn't like fighting. Yet, he was willing to cut off his subordinate's arm. And he says that now he's going to cut off his legs, too, if he's not going to be able to sit down. That's, that's just, that's just, um, ruthless. But anyway, you cut back to Karakura Town, um, Ichigo's room. Yuki is worried about Ichigo and why his friends aren't helping him, but Uryu just tells him that the enemy's reatsu is gone, Ichigo wouldn't lose to him, and he never actually had any attention to help. However, Chad did, which begs the question, why didn't Chad just go and help Ichigo if he wanted to help? I don't know. But anyway, um, Orihime... I, I'm not really sure if this is actually foreshadowing something, but Orihime said that Uriu is actually becoming a really good friend with Ichigo. Um, could this be actually foreshadowing for something that might happen in the next few chapters? I mean, the Van den Reich... So far, we know that the Van den Reich are Quincy's, and, you know, Uriu is a Quincy, and he po his friendship might be strained because, you know... They're his own people, in a way. Is he going to pick sides? We'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, Ichigo comes back, and and then Yuki's uh, phone starts going off. Um, his ringtone apparently is Shino humming a tune. Apparently this is so important that we need three panels for this. But it doesn't matter because what... In the matter is that after he takes his call, he tells Ichigo that he was ordered. Him and Shino are ordered to return back to base for a funeral. And whose funeral is it? Squad One's Lieutenant Chojiro Sasakibe. Kubo killed off a Shinigami, a good Shinigami. A and Gin doesn't count because we didn't know he was good at the beginning. Kudos to him! He actually killed off a character, but... Chojiro Sasakibe was one of the characters that got pushed aside. He, not once, not once have I seen in the anime or read in the manga that he had his own personal fight. His freaking Zanpak Toe had more screen time, hell, had, had more fights than he did, and that was from a filler arc. And for him to get killed off... And not knowing his backstory, or his Bonkai, if he even had one? I mean, he's supposed to be the lieutenant of Squad 1, the strongest squad in the 13 Court Guard squads, and he gets killed off. It's, it's, it's kind of sad in a way, but but, would, but think about it. Would you rather have a character that's been pushed aside to die, or have a really popular character die? Like uh, Toshiro, or Byakuya, or God forbid, Kenpachi. But, you know what? Good for you, Kubo. You killed off a character. So, a brief amount of time has passed, and Ichigo starts patrolling Karakura Town, and he's thinking about what Uryu tells him, that Yuki was told this much, so much information because they knew that Ichigo was there, and that Ichigo needs to know what's going on because they're going to need his help. And plus, he's the main character. Obviously, he's going to win. Why do I get the feeling that he's going to use the final guess to get a 10 show again? But anyway, while he's, you know, in his train of thought, he hears something from the sky, and it turns out to be Nell! Nell is back! He, she, she, just, she just came out of nowhere and starts flying from the sky, tackling Ichigo! <laughs> I'm actually glad Nell's back. I, I kind of missed her in a way. She she was cute. She was funny. I did like her backstory. The fact that she was the former third Espada. And plus, in her original form, she was a kick-ass fighter. But her fight got cut short. But, 
you know what? Now that she's back, I'm wondering, um, will she have her memory restored? I mean, she still has the crack in her mask, but can she be able to change back into her original form or um, n have her full memory again? Too, but hey, I'm just glad Nell's back. But despite her back, her being back, uh, it's not it's not really a happy, heartfelt reunion. It was more of she just came because um, she needs her Ichigo's help. And then Hueco Mundo is... But then we cut back to the Van der Reich hideouts. Buckbeard is repeating what Kokuto 2.0 is saying. And then he tells him that it's the future. And that he asks the Kokuto 2.0, which reveals... Which he reveals is his real name. Which he reveals his real name, which is Ludus Fregen. So... I guess knowing his name doesn't really matter because, uh, Buckbeard just kills Ludus Freegan. He, why? Because of what he tells him and that, I guess I've, uh, no, not I've, um, I guess, uh, Buckbeard didn't care about what, what, um, Ludus tells him because he, he knows that this is going to happen in the future, but he wants to know what's going to happen now. And what Ludus tells him was, you know, stuff that's about to happen soon, just not stuff that's about to happen now. And he just pulls him up. I don't think that's the... Is, is that really a good reason to kill off your subordinate? Just just because it, he's he's telling you all these things, but it's, even, though it's not once, even though it's not what he wants to hear about it, um, couldn't he just tell him, tell me about now instead of what's about to come? You, you don't have to blow him up, but you know what? Whatever. But then he, he talks to Ivan, he's like, I'm not going to praise you or blame you. You did a good job sh slowing down Ichigo. However, your job is now done. You must become foundation stone to build peace. And he blows him up, too. Okay, uh, if Ivan did a good job, I mean, couldn't you just keep stick him around a little longer to help him fight in the war? I mean, he's pretty much saying, you know what? You did a good job, but I have no more use for you. So I'm going to kill you now. Bye-bye. Kills him. That, that... <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. Buckbeard is ruthless. He's freaking ruthless. But you know what? Maybe there is more to that. Why? Because the masked figure tells him that aren't a wrong car's precious soldiers because they don't need to be taught how to fight. But Buckbeard's like, I don't care. So Ivan really is in a wrong car. But if he's in a wrong car, why did he tell Ichigo that he's not? And how was he able to use the Quincy Cross? And if he was in a wrong car, couldn't he just use his hollow powers? And why not his resurrection? I mean, I thought he has a sword that has his resurrection. Why can't he use that? And also, does this mean that he killed Ludus Fregan as well because he's also... On the wrong car? Because I didn't see... Were those piercings like pieces of his hollow mask? Uh, th so many questions are going through my head. I don't even know. Uh. But if he kills... if But if uh, if Bugbeard did kill them off because they were on wrong cars, then that would make sense because Quincy's hate hollows. And Quincy's must exterminate hollows. So... But then if he hates hollows, then he probably... Then why would the Iran cars ally? Why would some of the Iran cars ally them with the Quincy's? Okay, you know what? I'm I'm thinking too much about this. Uh, moving on. Um, Buckbeard decides to walk up these stairs. Um, he tells his subordinates, "If I want Iran cars, I can just get as many as I like." He pulls out the curtain to reveal Tia Hari Bell in her resurrection form and chains. This is gonna confuse a lot of people. All right. Um, I guess for those who haven't, who've only read the manga and watched the anime, Tia Haribel did get cut down by Aizen. However, Kubo did release, um, I think last year, yeah, last year, that a data book called Bleach Unmasked. Uh, it was revealed that Tia Haribel was still alive. And that Orihime heals her because um, one of her resurrection, um, Apache, I believe, the the one with the the horns, um, she apparently was still alive after being roasted 
by Yamamoto's Ryujin Jaka and and asked Orihime to heal her, but so they're like, okay, and she, and Orihime just heals her and Haibal and the rest of the fraction. And after, I guess because, um, you know, since the war is over, there's no need to kill them off. I guess it would be senseless or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I guess after that, Haibal and her fra and her fraction, um, they left. Ka they left Kagakura Town to head back to Wegomundo and, who you knows, became the new leader of, of Las Noches. So it turns out that the Vandenreich actually t took over Wegomundo and for some reason managed to get a couple of wrong cars to ally with and taught them how to use the Quincy Cross, or, at least that's what I think. Um, and chapter ends with Buckbeard saying, it's just another foundation stone to invade soul society. So this chapter, I I gotta admit, this is actually one of the best chapters I've read so far since this arc started. Despite having so many questions unanswered, the return of not one but two characters, two characters was really something. And the fact that Kubo actually killed off a Shinigami. It was not a bit, a bit surprising, but I'm kind of glad he's actually he actually did it. But on the other hand, it's all he killed off a character that nobody knows about. Well, not not nobody knows more about at least. So, but you know what? The plot is progressing nicely, and seeing Buckbeard, the leader of the Vandenreich, uh, his personality and how he acts is pretty pretty ruthless. I mean, I kind of like this villain. I don't know why, I just do. So for this chapter, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. I would have given it a 9 out of 10, but too many questions, which hopefully Kubo will answer. Uh, so, Bleach chapter 485. Can't wait to see what happens next week. I'm Lunar Spy 1127, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.